Okay, next part is reinforcement strategy. So reinforcement is something that you do that increases or maintains a behavior, punishment decreases a behavior. Now, whenever we are instructing, the most common thing to do is verbal praise. So like I say, hey, good job, how you doing? That's really surface level. And when you're first starting out, that's, that's fine, just building the habit. But you want to use what we call specific praise. So like if somebody's cutting a really good angle one, you want to talk about, hey, your angle's good, you're hitting with the right part of the sword, that's excellent, keep doing that. If somebody is doing their versets in and they're making sure to use the flat of their strong, then we would specifically go, hey, you're using the correct part of your sword, that's really good. If their footwork is looking really good, we specifically point out what they are doing correctly. Because if, if you just say good job, no one knows what the hell you're talking about. They might just go, oh, okay. And it, it's very surface level. But for a deeper impact to increase something, specifically if something that was bad earlier and now is good, don't talk about the bad part of it. Just talk about how, hey, you're doing that really well now. Good job. So because this built into the idea of what we call shaping by approximations. When someone first comes out, my auto zoom is doing weird stuff, there we go. When we're first teaching something, it's like, imagine a slab of stone that we're hacking down into a statue. Little by little, we're shaping them into what we're wanting. So by specifically talking about one or two things you're liking or that they're doing well, you're chipping away at that and making that more and more Toward what you're wanting in the end. I really wish this would stop auto focusing. Okay, so the other thing is if you are going to give correction for something, correct one thing at a time. If you correct like five or six things at a time, a person is going to become completely overwhelmed. Find one thing and one thing only, and then go over there, give specifically how you want it to do. Catch them doing it correctly, reinforce it over and over again. Like, yep, that was it, that was it, no, almost, yep, that's it, that's it, now you're doing it, good. All right, I'm going to come back and check on you, and then you move on. So that way, the person doesn't become overwhelmed, they don't feel ashamed of what they're doing, and it keeps them motivated. It's like, oh, yeah, I'm getting better, because he came back over, and he said, oh, yeah, you're doing that correctly again, excellent, because you're blocking with that part now. So... Another thing is always to reinforce the touch and go method. Um, the class is more important than the individual. I know that sucks to say, but when you're an instructor, if you have 10 people there and one person is screwing something up, you have to make sure the other nine people are flowing and getting well, and you just got to touch on that person, do what you can, and then move on to the next part. Praise is always better than punishment, so catch them doing something good, and you can make a lot of progress with the person that may be struggling. And sometimes you can only just fix one or two things or just get them just participating, maybe not gaining very much from the lesson. But you got to just touch on one person, move on to the group. Touch on one person, move on to the group. Don't spend a whole lot of time because everyone's paid their dues, everyone's paid their time, and no one wants to feel like that person is getting the majority of the instruction for the day. So walk in there specifically praise one person, move on to the next one. Walk over, correct one thing, move on. Always touching and going. Don't ever just stay on one person forever or stop the entire class because of just one person. If you do stop the entire class, maybe it's something you notice and you're having to touch and go on everyone, so that's a good opportunity to stop everything and specifically point out something and correct it for everyone. That way you're not having to do this with every single person, okay? All right, so that's reinforcement. Be specific, point out what you're, what you're wanting or what you're seeing they're doing well. If you're correcting something, making sure that you're specific on what you're wanting them to correct. Make it only one thing. Don't give them the whole lion's list of things and always touch and go. Keep the class moving.